I received a lot of questions about this disk setup. Um, so I'm gonna walk you through it, how to set it up yourself on your equipment. Um, it's a seven inch resin back fiber disk. Uh, this is 24 grit, but usually we have a 36 grit on here for making pipes. The 24 grit is just for um, sanding briar down. Um, this setup here is a little unique and I'm going to show you why. Usually people will have it set to a beel arbor and then a bolt through here to attach to the beel arbor. That's, that way is a little bit easier to set up. <clears throat> um, the way that we've got it set up is there's this basic motor arbor and then this is a custom arbor. And so I'm going to take this apart and show you it and uh, make a recommendation of what you can do. This is a 3600 motor. You can run this seven inch on a 1750 motor, um, but if you want the cutting action and kind of the stability so you can shape better, uh, 3500 plus motor is a little bit better. This is a pretty nice one, a ball door, but it's only a half a horsepower. That's all that's needed. You could go higher, but it's not you're not really gonna bog that down too much. And so here I'm gonna take this apart so you can see what it is. And this uh, disc, the backing pad for the disc, you can get at Harbor Freight. This is a kind of a direct mount onto this custom arbor. And the problem with this is it's hard to get the disc straight on here. And there's going to be a little bit of a bend, and we have to do that separately. Um, and then we have to cut these slits in here because this kind of goes in and covers. And also we had to adjust this that came with the backing disc. We had to cut a, the ledge that was here so that way it would have fit more flush. Uh, I do put a piece of felt or cotton on here so that dampens the noise a little bit. But this is basically how it comes from Harbor Freight. It's about four or five dollars, maybe a little bit more. It's a hard, stiff disc, and it comes with this thing that goes in there. I think there might have been something that was around here, but I can't remember. Um, but it serves a purpose for us. And another thing that we did is, if you can see along this edge, we kind of filed that down just a little bit and put a little bit of an angle in it so we can get in a little closer. Now, if you just get this and you have a beel arbor, um, you can basically get a bolt that'll fit into the beel arbor. You may have to get an adapter, I think, that'll fit on this back end. Um, it's like a grinding disc adapter and it'll screw that in and then you can put a bolt through the hole there that will fit into the beel arbor and that's how you would attach it to the beel arbor uh, but this one we just have it where we can put a direct mount onto this custom arbor I forgot who made this um, I'll probably get some made at some point I think it might have been Tim West um, but basically, if you have a metal lathe, you can create this arbor yourself, if you can cut threads. Um, so that goes in there. This disc, if you can see this disc, it is a little bit wobbly, but it's fine. We're running it at such high speed, and we're using it to grind briar, so we only really need the flat face, mostly. Um, where it comes into effect where you want it straight, where you don't want it bending anywhere, is when you're doing detail work on a pipe, you'll just have an easier time using it. That goes in there, and this we can just screw it on. Now, the only thing with this at 3500 and this low grit, you can do some damage to yourself. So unless you're, you're very attuned to shaping, on a wheel, I wouldn't recommend going with this setup until you've got 
the necessary skill to not injure yourself. Um, it's always at your own risk. And it's been a long time since I grinded my knuckles against this, but it freaking hurts. It's going pretty fast. Check out some of the other videos. You'll see uh, it in action, shaping a pipe. 